Hello. Uh, it's been uh, quite a while since I uploaded any video. Uh, it's not that I haven't been recording video or turning or that there's anything wrong. It's just that uh, I haven't been able to force myself to sit down at the computer and uh, edit the videos. I've got an awful lot of video recorded, but it's just on my computer. It's not, uh, it hasn't been gone through and edited. Uh, anyway, what I've got here is it's a beautiful day. Uh, it's cooled off a bit. I'm set up out in my backyard. And I have some bowls that are dry and ready to be finished turned, so I thought I would uh, dig out the little lathe and do it out here. Uh, I haven't hardly used this lathe uh, in the last, uh, well, eight or ten months, I guess, because it's been in... Uh, my back shed and things are a little crowded in there and uh, I haven't been able to get at it really so I dug it out today just to give it a try I haven't uh, had it out for quite some time so I've mounted uh, a small vacuum chuck I think that's the one I made in my video there a year or two back and I'm going to, I have to find a center for that. So I need a center dimple. I've got uh, this half inch diameter stub from when I originally roughed it out. So uh, I'm just going to eyeball the center of that. That will be, it's fairly easy to get close to the center of us circle it's only half inch in diameter so all right Ooh. might need to lubricate that ram that's a little Seems a little stiff. All right. Now this ball, it appears to me as though it doesn't have any anchor seal on it. Now I can't imagine that I would have put it out to dry without having anchor seal on it. So I'm thinking that it's entirely possible that I've already brought this back once and cut the anchor seal off of it and decided it wasn't dry enough and put it back out to dry some more. It was turned April 19th, 2012. According to that, it was roughed out, so. I'm also trying a new sound, uh, audio, or a microphone. A remote microphone. And uh, a lot of... That's part of the reason I haven't been doing videos is because I haven't been happy with the sound I've been getting from the remote microphone. Uh, not so much the quality of the sound as the... Uh, I didn't realize I was quite that much of a mouth breather and there's an awful lot of loud breathing in the uh, videos so all right now you should be able to hear me I've got my face shield down that was uh, one of the reasons I went to the remote microphone as people were complaining they couldn't hear me when I put my face shield down so I'm going to, just going to true up this tannin, which shouldn't take much from the look of it. Well, maybe a bit. 
Uh, except I think I'm in the wrong speed range here. All right. Okay, I'm using the 3 8 side grind gouge, ball gouge. Bevel rubs, I roll it until it picks up the cut and then traverse. Now I want to cut in along the side of the tenon. And it feels like the surface is running true, so I'm going to use my diamond point scraper just to square up that inside corner. And I'll take a pass up the side wall. just to true up the outside And it looks like I've cut that surface, the full surface. So maybe level the rim while I've got it here. Okay, so now I've got the le rim leveled. I'm just looking at the curve and it looks it looks fine, so anything. Now, uh, the next step will be to mount that mount that tenon in a chuck to turn out the inside, but I have some
like it's going to spin reasonably true. Okay. Uh, you're not going to be able to see much with me leaning in front of the bowl. And I suppose over here you're going to be right in the line of fire for the shavings coming off the gouge. But We'll see how it looks anyway. So I'm going with a standard grind, or traditional grind, whatever you want to call it. Uh, three eighths. If I'm about here in, it's a little thick yet.
That doesn't feel bad. So I think I'm going to sand it on the inside. And I don't think you necessarily need to watch that, so I'm going to shut the camera off while I'm doing that. Okay, so I've got the inside of the bowl sanded to 400. I'm going to put some finish on it. Uh, this is Doctor's Wood Shop Micro Crystal Wax Bowl Finish. It's a uh, walnut oil with micro crystal wax suspended in it, I believe, or something along those lines. And on walnut, I kind of like it. Better than my uh, beeswax mineral oil. For some reason on walnut, that beeswax mineral oil stuff uh, just seems to almost disappear after a couple of months. It looks like there's nothing on the wood. I don't have that problem with any other kind of wood. Uh, like I've used it on maple, ash, oak. And they're fine, it's just walnut seems to disappear fairly quickly but this stuff seems to work quite well Okay, inside done. Feels like I've got lots of bottom thickness in that one. Probably more than I want. So I may have to take some off. Right. We can probably use a smaller rust again.
So that one's done.